There was a man here, he disappeared. I saw him in a vision in the afternoon. E D. Oh, why are you hiding from the prophet? It's your time, says the Lord. It's your season, says the Lord. Koproto soklahate. Kridi bianto soprada haze. Bronte, I'm seeing you in a car. Next to you, I'm seeing a lady. My wife. Good looking. Of course. Th there is no hair here. I don't know who is like T. I see later T. Tatiana. 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 Who is Tatiana? Tatiana? My wife. Where is she? I hope she's not right now. <laughs> she's here? Yeah, she's here. Yes. God have remembered her tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Just like heaven on earth, oh, 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 just like heaven, just like heaven on earth, oh, 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 yeah, just like heaven, just like heaven on earth. I am singing. I'm seeing you driving. Okay. I'm seeing you there. Maybe sing this voice. The Lord says a blessing is upon you. Amen. And the devil is trying to stop the blessing. Okay. I see you driving. I see you sitting on the side. I see an accident taking place. Okay. I saw her dying on the spot. The Lord says we need to reverse it in the realm of the spirit. Tell, the Lord says, tell Enzo to be silent. <laughs> What's Enzo? And she went quiet. <laughs> Come. The Lord says we need to pray and save your life. No death would take place in your house. Because of what you did for God in his kingdom, no weapon formed by the enemy shall prosper. The Lord says, I extend your life and no death will come near you. Because I was seeing 31st of December crossing to the new year, I'm seeing a car accident taking place. And the Lord says, no weapon formed against this house shall prosper. I'll protect you, I'll guide you. I'm watching over you and no weapon formed against this shall prosper. Ali Moro dia kambama sekra da bahande biya ho shalahate. The Lord says your prayers have reached up to the heavens. Your season is coming in 2018. The devil was going to stop it, but no weapon formed against you from this day shall prosper. I put a hedge of fire around you, says the Lord. I protect thee, says the Lord. My blessing is in your house, says the Lord. Karata Pahaya. Bele Masata Lahade. I see a great teacher of the word. Also, I am seeing a doctor from this young boy. The future is great. The future is great. When this child grows up, is it a boy? Make sure he doesn't marry anybody with a name like Messi. I'm serious. Make sure that will not happen. You're not going to die, so you're going to see the wedding soon. The Lord says the devil will try to send a girl by the name Messi. That will try to twist the direction of the vision that he will carry. But the Lord says, he shall be a successful doctor. He shall be a teacher of the word. The Lord says, he is mine as he is in the palm of my hand. The Lord says, life is in your house and not death will come to you. A blessing is coming to the house. I B A B A B A B G B. Abogabir, that's my name. Uh? Uh, last name, Abogabir. Abora? Abogabir. It's a tongue. But I cover the family in the name of Jesus. I speak life within the family in the name of Jesus. I speak longevity in the name of Jesus. 
Brikato shakomba maseka rahate. Ronte na mapepe huta taunde nderida baka utsutsu. Deto pa usha kabaya nde. Sepota shaka baba ha. T-H, T-H, T-H-I, T-H-I-A-G, Tiago, Tiago. His That's his name. Yeah. The Lord says his future shall be great. Amen. Favor is upon him. Amen. Blessings is upon him. The, oh yeah, Kabasai. There are other two kids that are coming after this. Twice. She, she, she told me that, um, that we only having three kids. I say four. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that. It can be twin and next time it's a one. So you can be pregnant twice. I decree and I declare that the future be placed inside of you. That you shall carry seeds from the Lord that shall be a blessing to this world. I pray that you not carry any seed of the enemy. But that God will bless your womb and whatever shall come out from your womb be blessed. I speak life in your house. I speak a great future in your house. I speak the power and the presence of God in your house. I am moving in the realm of the spirit. I'm in a chariot right now. You heard my song right about the chariot of fire with a certain rider. I'm the rider. <laughs> I'm traveling. I'm no longer here. I'm moving. There's a man we need to pray for so that the healing can take place in his body, especially his heart. I'm no longer here. I am landing myself in Florida. My father. Your father. He's the Lord Florida. says, I am touching him tonight. And I'm releasing grace upon his life tonight. A new page has been opened in his life. There is a new path that I see. There is a new grace upon his life. The Lord says, no weapon formed against him shall prosper. What happened to him in his marriage that put something grief in his heart, the Lord says, it will not happen to your marriage. There shall be no generational case that will move from your fathers to you. The Lord says, life has been added and a new page has been opened. I am with you, says the Spirit of the living God. So blessed and honored that a prophet, a man of God, came in our midst to be able to stop what the enemy had planned at the end of this year for this beautiful family. So we want to just hear from them. I mean, once you heard that, um, and this is Edda and this is Tatiana. Tatiana, can you turn to the side where you have no hair? I just wanted to make sure you guys saw that because he saw that, but you could only see in the camera that she had hair. So that, that's what he was talking about, that side. Just so we make sure that it was true and correct. So real quickly, uh, Edder, can you please tell us, when you heard that about your wife, uh, what, it, what was happening inside? Uh, so, well, there were a lot of things coming to my head. Um, I heard that um, yesterday morning um, when um, someone called me and he said that uh, he mentioned my name and he wanted to talk to me because, you know, he saw uh, all of these things going on um, in the car accident. So... Uh, the first thing that came to my mind was that um, I've been uh, dreaming, uh, even, I don't know, like, I don't know how to call it, like daydreaming maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I, uh, that she was going to, you know, pass away either by a car accident or giving birth to one of our kids and stuff like that. I keep, you know, I keep having these thoughts in my in my head. And when I heard that, that mor uh, yesterday, I was like, man, like everything just kind of clicked, you know, and uh, I'm just going to, I'm very blessed and thankful that we have prophets this day that can, like, let us know um, that things, you know, can happen in the future, yeah. Amen, amen. Can you tell us these daydreams, these visions, and the thoughts, even some of the dreams at night that were happening, how long of a period of time was this happening? I think it's been uh, almost two, uh, two months, three months, something around there, and, you know, it's just crazy because... I'm like, man, what am I going to do without my wife, you know, having three kids? Uh, well, yeah, we have one more baby coming up, by the way. <laughs> yes, by the way, so. <laughs> I wasn't uh, supposed to say that, but it's okay. <laughs> so, because of these, uh, these visions and things like that, was that to you 
uh, realizing after prophet came and told you that what was going to happen and that he said that we're going to put an end to this, do you believe that Holy Spirit was speaking to you that was a voice telling him to pray for it not to happen? Yeah, of course, you know, it's, uh, like I say, guys, it's, uh, like, unbelievable. Like, just yesterday, I was, like, uh, driving um, uh, home, and I was just, like, asking God, God, just please, you know, give me, because uh, when when you see these things on the TV and everything, and even when you see them at church, but they don't happen to you, for some reason, you're kind of like, ah, maybe not me, you know. But uh, when uh, I heard that yesterday, I was like, man, what's, uh, what, what's going on, you know, like, I couldn't understand it. So I told, I, I talked to God right away. I was like, God, please, you know. Um, talk to me through him and let me know what's going on through him. And uh, he did, you know, yesterday. He was just powerful and uh, crazy. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> After he prophesied saying that the enemy wanted to do this into your family's life, but he said that God wants that to not happen. He wanted to place a fire around your family, a fire of protection that no harm will come on your way. Amen. Do you guys believe that that is confirmed, that that plan of the enemy is done? It's not going to happen in Jesus' name. Yes, we do, of course, yeah. Amen. When he said that, you know, that, that fire, um, the circle of fire around us, yes. that was powerful. Honestly, that, that was like, I don't know, something inside happened in, in me because I was like, man, like, it's, it's beautiful, yeah. Amen. Amen. Fatsy, can you come here to the side real quick? So, you know, since it was about you hearing that, that spirit of death was c coming to you and to the household, but afterwards he said that it's no longer, can you also confirm that you believe that life is going to continue, longevity is going to happen to your family, that you're going to see your children walk down that wedding aisle, amen? Yeah, I do believe it, yes, I do. Now, the good part, the good news that he said that he saw four. Now, you guys were planning only three, is that correct? I don't know, maybe twins. <laughs> so, so just uh, from what Edder said, can you confirm, um, are you currently pregnant? I am, yes. <laughs> Amen. So three, four is on the way. You guys, this is right here. I want to also just ask that this is not just a show, that you are here today to see this great man of God here. It is not a show, it is not to be amused, but to hear the voice of God from heaven coming onto the children of God. This is right here, a friend, a daughter, a wife, a mother that just had her life turned around because the voice of God came to hungry generation to stop the enemy to stop the plan of the enemy and to give life, amen? What a devastation could have happened and take place. But that is the importance of a prophet. It is not for show, it is not for us to have conferences, but it's for our lives to be indented by the hand of God, for every plan of the enemy to be stopped, amen? So I want us to be encouraged and to also have sensitivity to the fact that God uses prophecy to bring glory to God himself, but also to, to stop the plans of the enemy. And so we thank God for this beautiful family. We thank God that God spoke and stopped whatever the enemy had planned against them. Amen. We praise God for this beautiful family. He also mentioned because they serve, God spoke. And they serve. They do so much for the kingdom of God. So we thank you for your guys' life. We know and we declare good things are going to happen in 2018. Amen. As he also said. So thank you guys so much for testifying and coming up here. Hi there. If you're like me and you like to click on things, go ahead and click right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this way, we'll be able to send the content to you directly. And each week you'll stay updated with the things that we post. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.